Hello everybody, welcome back. In this short video, I shall discuss a common mistake I see students making. For the purpose of this video, I am calling it Remember to bring the sprite back. Let me put together some very simple code to illustrate the problem I am trying to say, trying to uh, talk about. Say I go to events, when flag clicked, right, I have only one sprite here. Let me say, let's say wait one second, right, and then I say maybe go to, go to x equals to 100 and y equals to 200. Now remember that means, uh, let's not put 200, let means, let's say 150. So it means taking 100 steps forward and then climbing up 150 steps, right? Which is somewhere here, right? Now, in this code, I am telling my sprite to, when the flag is clicked, wait for one second, and then go to x of 100, somewhere here, and y of 150, right? So remember, center is 0, 0, 100 steps forward, and then climb up 150 ladders, right? So let's see what happens, right? It's quite predictable. It waits one second, and then it goes there, right? So far, so good. Now, let's say I click flag again, right? It looks like nothing is happening, right? And the reason is because we have sent our sprite somewhere, but we have forgotten to bring it back to where it was, right? Now, this looks trivial, but I will show you more manifestations of this in just a moment, right? So what we should be doing, right? Remember a golden rule of programming, right? is that you want your code to start from a predictable way, in a, in a predictable way, right? That means that you should be able to predict exactly how the code is going to start and what happens after that, right? Now, in this case, the problem is that one time your code makes a sprite move, after that it does not, right? And how can you fix it? Well, very simple, take a starting position, right? So if I say, go to, in the beginning, let's say I say go to 0, 0, right? Now, whenever I do this, every time, every time I click the flag, right? Sprite will go to 0, 0 and then go to that particular point, right? Now, let's look at one more manifestation of this, which is even more interesting, right? Let's say I say, you know, and I see students doing this, right? So I say, wait one second and say, move, you know, move. 40 steps, say 50 steps, right? So what does move mean? Basically move means, so maybe I'll, for this purpose, I'll first send it to zero, zero, right? Move means sprite will move, in this case, plus 50 steps, which means move forward 50 steps, right? Move is actually a little bit more involved, but for our sake, sprite will move forward 50 steps, right? So let's see when I do this code. So what happens is, it waits one second, and as you see, it moves 50 steps, right? Now the problem is that, Every time I'm clicking this sprite, it is going away and away, right? So a lot of people want to make the sprite move as part of some story, but then the story loses meaning if it's the sprite is already moved, right? So again, how do you fix it? Very simple. Remember to bring it back, right? What do I mean by that? Remember to bring the sprite where you wanted it to first to be, right? So in this case, I wanted my sprite to be at 0, 0. So I say always go to zero, zero, right? Go to zero, zero first, then do whatever, right? So now this makes my code extremely predictable in the sense that it always starts at zero, zero, waits one second and moves 50 steps, right? Now let's take another example of this, right? A little bit more involved version, right? So I see students using it too. Let's say I add another sprite called the apple, right? So Let's say I tell my sprite, I do not have this go to zero, zero, let's say in the beginning, I say when flag click, wait one second and then go to, so this is something we will learn later on, but you can make your cat go to apple, for example, as in sprite, right? So perhaps I'll put my apple here. Now, this is very nice because it's in a story, perhaps you have something happening and at the end of the story, the cat goes to the apple, right? So now 
This looks benign. So I say wait one second and then go to Apple. Fantastic. However, now see what will happen. If I click flag again, it will look like nothing is happening because the cat is already at the Apple, right? So again, to fix that, remember to bring it back, to bring back to the position you started from, right? Now, in your story, the position may be something else. For me right now, the position is zero, zero, right? So when I do this, go to in the beginning, then I always start this program in a predictable manner, right? Which means my program always starts with the sprite at zero, zero. Right? Okay, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy programming. Bye-bye.